Hey, Jenny Lakenan here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom font to your WordPress website. You know, if you get your branding done professionally and you have these beautiful fonts that you really want to use on your site so that it looks really cohesive and professional, um, but you're just not sure how to do it, then this is just going to be a quick walkthrough of exactly how to do that. So I will caveat that by saying that in general, I think that custom fonts are better as sort of like accents on a website. I do actually recommend um, when you're talking to your brand designer um, that you ask them to use mostly Google fonts in your brand style guide. Um, and Google fonts, you can find they're all like publicly available. And the reason why I recommend using Google fonts is because um, they're like a default installed on WordPress. They're default installed in a lot of other places like Canva. Um, all, most of them are. And so it's, you know, there are, there's a huge selection of fonts here um, to use on your website. And I really just kind of recommend sticking to those and just keeping the custom fonts as sort of accents or only to use for like headlines or um you know, like design assets, like workbooks and stuff like that. So, you know, all of my website fonts are um, Google fonts. My headline is Playfair Display and my body font is Montserrat. And that works really well for me. I do have a couple of accent fonts, but I don't use them very often that are custom um, just because it's easier to use the Google fonts on my site. So that tangent over, sometimes we still want to use our pretty fonts on our website. And to do that, all you need to do is just come to your WordPress dashboard and you go to plugins and click um, add new. I just loaded in my main plugin page. Now, if you're on the plugin page, you can click add new up here in the top left. And then in the search bar, you're going to type in custom fonts. And it looks like this custom fonts um, It has this little icon. You click install now. And then you're going to activate it, press that button again. And then what you're going to do is you're going to um, come over here to let's see it's under um, settings or it's under appearance um, in my site with my theme options is under custom fonts. It's probably where it'll be for you too, but in it, when in doubt, just kind of hover over appearance, hover over tools and you'll be able to find out where your particular theme uploads the custom font settings. And then you're going to give your font a name. So the font that I'm using here is called Otama Display Regular. So that's what I'm going to type in here. And then now you need to upload the font file into one of these boxes. Um, if you have sometimes fonts will come with multiple um, file types which most often you'll see either t dot ttf or dot otf and the way that you can check is just by hovering over your um, font file and clicking properties and then you'll see type of file is an otf open type font file so i'm going to come over here to the otf option and click upload and then i'm going to upload that as a file to my media library Remove myself so I can hit select. And then, all right, so it's linking to that font file. It's now in my website's media library. And then you just click add font down here. And there you go, you've added your font. So to use it, you will come over here to pages. I'm just going to edit one of my pages in Elementor. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to show you how to add this um, font throughout your whole site just in one place so that you don't have to um, be editing every single text box on your website. So if you go to Appearance Customize, I know I did that kind of fast. Let me go back. Sometimes I move too fast and people watch my videos and tell me that I need to go slower. So if you come over here to Appearance and then go to Customize, you're going to the Customizer, you'll be able to set your topography for your whole site. So if you come over here to Global and then Topography, now your theme options may be set up a little bit differently, but what you want to do is just try to find the topography settings. So I don't want this font to be my base topography, like the, the font for all of my body text and everything. I just kind of want it to be an accent as like a headline. So I'm going to come here to headings and that's where I'll be able to set the font for headings only. All right. So I'm going to click on this drop down and see what that was called Otama. 
So I start typing in the font and then it loads up here and I can click Otama Display Regular. And there you go, it loads up that font on my whole site and it looks really pretty. Um, and I'm just gonna click Publish. And that is how you upload a custom font. Now, sometimes you will get an error when you upload the font file to custom fonts. Um, the website will basically say something like file not permitted for security reasons. If you haven't had that error, then you can just kind of stop watching this video now. But if you have had that problem or you just want to know um, how to address it if you come across it ever, then um, I'll just show you real quick how to do that. To, if you're getting the um, file not permitted for security reasons error, you just come over here to plugins and there's one more plugin you'll install that will allow you to kind of enable that font file. So you click add new and then you're going to type in WP extra file types. And it's this font or this uh, plugin. So I'm going to click install and then activate. And then I'm gonna come over here. I think it's in settings. Yeah, so under settings, it's here, extra file types. So we'll just click on that. And then it's gonna give you this big long list of file types. And you don't need to, um, you don't need to worry about all of the file types, but you do just want to, um, I'm just gonna, I clicked um, control F or command F um, to get that search bar. And then I'm just going to type in OTF or if my file type was a TTF instead of an OTF, when we were originally looking at the file type for the font, then I would type in TTF. And I just control F and search for that open type font file. And then I'm just going to check that. And that will enable, well, it'll tell WordPress, hey, this type of font file is okay. You don't need to flag it as a security risk. And then you just need to make sure you scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page and click save changes. And then that should solve the problem of um, not being able to install the font file because of a security problem. So that's how you install a custom font to WordPress. I hope that was useful. Um, now, if you are getting your website set up and you haven't checked out my Coach website blueprint yet, then I really recommend um, checking that out. It's a five video training series on exactly how to structure your site, what pages to have on it. Um, it's really just kind of like the minimum viable setup for any coach that's getting their website ready to go. All right. Um, you can find the link to that blueprint below this video. And if this was useful, definitely subscribe to the channel so that you can get future um, website videos and tutorials to up-level your coaching business.